Hey guys, it's Cole here. Today we're doing another mock overview and today's mock is the Lamborghini Murcielago and as you guys probably know by now, mock stands for my own creation and today's mock has been in the works for a little bit. After I built the Gallardo a while back, I figured yeah, I'll probably build the Murcielago to go with it and I think the Murcielago has turned out a good bit better of a model than the Gallardo so I'm pretty excited about it. So we'll start by just saying where you can get the instructions. Like always, the instructions are at greenbrickwell.com. The link in the description below. And yeah, you can click on the link, you can go get the instructions, and you can build this. We have the list, I'm done saying different this time. Get the instructions in four different colors, white, black, yellow, and orange. And basically, yeah, you can just get the one you like, and then they each one comes with a parts list. Then you can access the parts list for any one, so you can technically get any one of the instructions, but still get the parts list for free for either one of the colors, so from Rebreakable. So you should be, you can basically build this in whatever color you like by, um, looking at the parts list because we have because if you go to each of the different listings for the instructions you'll find the parts list in each of the different colors so let's get on to the model so basically the it's based around the little 2x2 two two wedge plate you see here so I was, had a picture of the Gallardo that I printed out to work on it a while, quite a few months ago and on the same page I also printed out a picture of the Mercy Elgo now I wasn't planning to build one but I thought oh I'll build it in the future or I wasn't planning to build one immediately anyway so I said I'll build one in the future, so I'll print out a picture of it, and recently, not recently, after I finished the Gallardo, uh, I noticed that the headlights on the real, real Mercy Lago are quite similar to these 2x2 uh, two two wedge plates, I suppose they're called. Uh, they're obviously not the same piece, they're the left one and the right one. Yeah, so basically the whole model was based around these two, or just one part, I suppose. So on the front end here, we got, this is based on the 2003 Mercy Lago, and it's obviously, this one's a road cert, uh, when you get the instructions, you'll get the instructions for that hardtop version and instructions on how to turn it into the roadster by removing some parts and on how to open the doors because like, as you see in this picture right here the doors can open not obviously you can't just swing them open there are no hinges built in but you can take them off take them apart rebuild them with only two extra parts included or you have to just get two extra parts to add and then you have you can build the doors in an open position like you see here now around the front like I, like I said it's based on the 2003 Mercy Lago, or 2001 I believe it is, I, I get mixed up between the 2003 Gallardo and 2001 Mercy Lago. so this is the 2001 Mercy Lago. The Around the front it's got that sort of blocky uh, center um, area between the intakes, and then on the sides we've got these little slopes that come upwards. Now I'm not entirely sure what those would be called, it's kind of hard to describe them. They are a little bit further back than I'd like, but we kind of had to do that so we get the slope with the lights on the front there, I think it looks pretty good. Now this curved part around the front is a little bit too thick I think. But I'm not really sure how to do it thinner, so just had to go like this. That uh, doesn't look too bad. Um, if we move along the side, inside we have these panels that are sort of like combining the rear part of the car along with the door. And the whole Mercy Lago, if you look at the picture of the real one, like you can see here, it's kind of a a tube, almost like a flattened tube shape along the side on the top that comprises of the door and the area leading up to the fender. And basically, yeah, it represented that with these curved slopes that are kind of set at this angle. Now, just using a not necessarily illegal, but not exactly legal Lego building technique. To um, it's just kind of basically using a little bit of little bits of play that are in the Lego bricks or curved slopes in this case to set them at an angle. It's fairly solid. It's not the most solid thing ever. Lego would not probably include it in a set, but for a display model, even for playing with it, if you're or if you're going to build this for your kid or you are a kid and you're going to play with this model. It will still work fine, it, unless you give it to a small kid, I wouldn't give it to a small kid, it's not that tough. The um, Along this bottom here, we have the intake, which is kind of represented by, it's just represented by these panels and a curved slope back, at, which is at the back, which actually um, forms the intake itself. That is it's not precisely accurate, but I think it definitely looks fairly accurate, and you know, if you know what this part looks like on real Mercy Lago, you'll know what it, what it, you'll know what this is supposed to represent in the Lego version. Now, we'll move on to the interior here, take the windshield off so you guys can see. Actually, you guys can see in the B-roll footage I'm adding on top of this. And basically, on the interior here, I've kind of, you might say I've spec this one with a white exterior and a blue, blue seats on, with a black interior. I think it's a very nice contrast colors. Obviously, when you guys build it, you can build, um, you can add whatever color seats you like. And obviously, I think we have some different, for all the different instructions that I've released, for, or all the four different colors, they all come in four different interior colors. Just to um, change it up a little bit, you obviously, obviously you guys can choose whatever colors you'd like for the interior. Now this is based on the gated manual, Mercy Lago, which I think is pretty awesome. It's the last manual Lamborghini, or maybe not the last one necessarily, considering the Gallardo King after, but it's the last V12 manual Lamborghini. The 
On the inside, other details, just kind of standard stuff, be, speed, using the speed chain chassis. One thing that I am very proud of with this model is that I actually got, fit, got it to fit two minifigures in here as compared to basically every other model. The first one, the Challenger you see here, and previous model, they did not fit minifigures very well at all, or they didn't fit them at all. And this one can fit two minifigures, not only two minifigures, but two minifigures with rather large hair pieces or hats or whatever, as you can see in this video right here. So it fits, I'm not sure why entirely, maybe just the way that I've oriented the windshield and everything, but I think I'm pretty happy that I was able to get it to actually fit minifigures properly and not just with when you have to take your legs off or something like that. Around the back here, we're using this technique that we've used on several different Lamborghinis, or not several, basically one out of Lamborghini, the Gallardo. It's going to be used in several different variations in Murcielago. And basically, it um, f uh, forms this little slope that comes down the back here, you know, not really too interesting or anything, kind of an obvious part to use. Along the back here, you know, got the rear fender, standard stuff. Um, along the side here, we got this intake. Now, on the real Murcielago, the Murcielago name is Italian, I believe, for bat. And like the and like the bat, the animal, not like the baseball bat or something like that. So basically, this car and it's painted black. It often does look sort of look like a Batmobile. And the intakes in the back here, which on the real Mercy Lago, as you can see right here, these intakes open up at a certain speed or when the engine hits a certain temperature to cool it off. And it represent. I wanted to do those in. I really wanted to do those in the model here. And I wasn't. I wanted to use wedge plates and hinges and stuff to get it to actually flip up. But because of the way I built these slopes back here, I couldn't really fit them in there. So we're just represented by these little slopes, and then you can swap them out for these assemblies, as you see right here, and then you can um, just kind of, rep they represent the open intakes. Now around the back of the Mercy Lago, we'll flip this around right here, the, as you can see, you have the d massive twin exhaust pipes. Now these are a bit oversized, but they definitely, you can tell what they are, they're definitely exhaust, you're not going to make mistake them for anything else. Like I said, this is representing the 2001 Mercy Lago, the er first generation, so it's got these slopes back here and the twin exhaust. Now the later models received a, or they, or they had built on them, I suppose, this a, a small diffuser and it one one big um, exhaust output that looked cooler. But this one's very, you know very cool for the time. And I, the early 2000s had that you know certain look to cars, and you could definitely tell by looking at the the slopes down here, these inverted slopes, I suppose. On the real car, it definitely looks like that early 2000s styling, and it looks very ni very nice looking car. Back here we got these tail light clusters, I suppose, because it contains the uh, reverse light, turn signal, brake lights, all that kind of stuff. And they're all stacked up here, as you can see. I think this looks pretty good, fairly realistic to the real car. Obviously, these red lights stick out in the side, and you could probably put like a sticker over them or paint them over or something if you really wanted to go super full detailed. I think this looks fairly good, you know, for building with Lego. We got the, all these intakes back here. We have a nice license plate back here, custom made, print out, printable PDF thingy. I've not figured out a way to get this get this um, P, this PDF here so you can print it out to you guys. I haven't figured out how to get it to you guys yet, so you guys can print it out when you build this thing, but. Um, we're gonna figure it out eventually, and if we do figure it out, by the time we figure it out, this video, by the time we post this video, we probably will have figured it out. So check in the comments below, because I'll probably post a comment and pin it to the top, and you guys can see that if I have um, figured out a way to, for you guys to print out this license plate, as you can see this one reads, No Mercy, which is a pun on the car's name, as you can probably tell, Mercy is kind of a nickname for the Mercy logo. So, the I should point out that the inventory contains, when you, if the inventory on Rebrickable, that is, contains the parts to, um, turn it into the Roadster because the Mercy Lago Roadster has a bunch of different stuff back here on the engine cover compared to the standard one. It also contains the parts to um, two extra parts you need, just two brackets to open the doors. And one thing I should point out is that there's a difference between the yellow and orange versions and the black and white versions because there's a lot of part parts, there's a lot of Lego parts out there in black and white, but not so many in orange and yellow. There's still a lot, but not a, not a ton compared to white and black. So white and black has some parts that um, are in there that are not on the orange and um, yellow versions. So when you buy the instructions for the orange and yellow and the black and white, they're going to be slightly different, but you're definitely going to be able to tell what the differences are. It's basically just some brackets around the front. All right, so like I said, the instructions are at rebrickwell.com, link in the description below. And you can give this video a like if you enjoyed it. You can subscribe because the Mercy Yellow Go Super Veloce and GT1 race car versions are going to be coming out very soon in the future. The, you can go follow me on Instagram to get uh, you know updates on all these models because we share a lot more stuff on Instagram than we do on YouTube because YouTube is once a week or so, Instagram several times a week to show updates on new models and stuff. So you can go follow me there, check out different stuff there, link in the description below. And I guess that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it.
and this is rep like this like I said like I said this is representing the 2003 2003 like I said this is representing the 2001 Gallardo Gallardo